Hello, today John's going to show you how to take cuttings from penstemon plants. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture, where John and Melanie helping you develop your gardening skills, such as showing you how to sow vegetables, how to grow vegetables, how to take cuttings, how to prune plants, and much, much more. So if you enjoy learning those things, do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no cost involved at all, and don't forget to press that all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Right, um, we talked about, we, we've done cutting back of our penstemons, but in many ways, if you want to be on the safe side or to increase your stock, it's always a good idea to take a few cuttings. They're very easy to do, they root quite easily, and you've got plants to either plant out next year or to give to your friends. The, the pieces that we cut off the, the original plant, um, I mean, there are, unfortunately, there are very few very few cuttings without any flower shoots. So well, there's one there which is going the wrong way, but that, that'll do. So we'll pull him off and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to just pull the, pull the bottom leaves off. What I'm going to do is take that, you see that tip there? It's going all over the place. So if I get in there with my secretaries, I could just tidy that one up and then I've got a few nodes at the bottom. That's where the leaves hit the, hit the stem, you want the nodes. So if I'm going to go below that node, it's always good to go below a node because that's where the concentration of cambium, which is the, uh, the, the substance that actually starts to produce roots. So we're going to go to below that node and just take a custom doing. I use these old kitchen plates because they're much uh, safer. And there, there's our little cutting. So here we are, we've got a nice clean pot. It's always worth getting a nice clean pot uh, for, for, for cuttings, uh, simply because you, you don't really want any, any um, disease to get in. I just fill this up with uh, the pot and cut the cuttings compost, loose off like that. Just I use my finger because it's much more convenient than anything else. Just pop it in there and firm it down. And there's your cutting. Okay. I'm going to go back and see if I can find a few more to, 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 to go around it. Again, it's starting to go over. There are a few buds coming from the side, but we'll still take that out about there. Pull off the bottom pieces. Um, some people would actually use what they call a heel, or make a heel cutting. Uh, in fact, we'll try heel cutting. I'll show you how to do heel cutting. Um, and I'm just going to get my knife, so I can find it. And there we are. And just tidy that up. Can you see what I'm doing? Just tidy that up there. So in it goes in there. All right. Take that off, tidy it again, trim them off there, and there you are. You can put up to eight in the pot if you wish. Um, don't put them too close together, otherwise you'll get problems with, with fungus going in. Now ideally, those, they'll have, need a good, good, good water, watering in now, and then leave them. Um, it's often, if you can, put a, a, a plastic bag over them or put them in a propagator, which will keep the air still and uh, reduce their water loss. Uh, the other, but of course the other thing they want is a bit of heat to generate their roots. So we often stand these pots in a, a propagator where you've got a warm bottom uh, and uh, try to get a humid top. Uh, in, in general conditions, they, uh, because the weather's so warm, they'll work fairly well now. Uh, and you know, the, in a greenhouse without the direct sun, they should do very well. And with any luck, they'll be well rooted. Uh, well before the cold weather comes in and then you've got the plants to, to pot on and grow on for next year in the garden. That's your pensamins. The other thing of course, don't forget to label. Label what it was and uh, when you did it so that you know if it's successful this year, you can do it again next year. Well, that's all for today. We do hope you enjoyed that. We very much enjoyed having you in our Somerset garden. If you'd like to follow us, do press the subscribe button and don't forget to press that all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Until next time.